I hope your wallets are ready for summer. Sober Oni of GNA Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the hottest summer servant, Kyohime Lancer. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. I also have an in depth summer event guide up and a spotlight for Tamamo Lancer as well on the channel right now, so do check those out right after this, but for now, on to Kyo's stats. Kyohime has a max HP of 11,870, below average for 4 star lancers, but overall above average when compared to all the other 4 star servants. Her max attack of 8,936 is average among her fellow 4 star lancers, and with the lancer modifier, her attack becomes a modest 9,382, also average compared to the other 4 star servants. Taking a look at her skills, her first skill is Scorching Summer, rank A. It decreases the critical hit rate of all enemies for 3 turns between 20 and 30% depending on level. Her second skill is Bathwater Turnover rank A, which increases her Buster Card effectiveness for 3 turns between 20 and 30% depending on level. And finally her last skill is Pursuer of Love rank A, which decreases the defense of an enemy for 3 turns between 20 and 30%, but also increases their attack for 3 turns by 20% as a demerit. Her passives are Madness Enhancement Rank EX, which increases her Buster Card effectiveness by 12%, and Magic Resistance D, which increases her debuff resist by 12.5%. Taking a look at her deck and Noble Phantasm, Kyohime has a Quick Buster deck with Quick Quick Arts Buster Buster and a Buster Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Dojo G Kane, Yakukachi Shiki, Kadyu Nagi, which deals significant damage to a single enemy with between a 600 and 1000% damage modifier depending on level. It also inflicts skill seal for one turn and inflicts burn for five turns between 500 and 2500 damage per turn depending on overcharge. Taking a closer look at her cards, we see that her quick card hits twice, her arch card hits twice, her buster hits six times, and her extra attack hits five times. She has an NP gain rate of 1.05% and a star rate of 12%. She has above average Noble Phantasm gain for a Lancer due to the high number of hits on her Buster, but an average amount of star generating because of the low hits on her Quick Card. It is worth mentioning that Kyohime Lancer is unique in that her Buster gives a good amount of NP gain when leading with an Arts card because of the high hit count on it. So an Arts Buster Buster will give Kyohime a 32% NP charge. And yet another gotcha where we have a 5 star Lancer and a 4 star Lancer bundled together. No doubt this will trigger PTSD for everyone who tried to roll for Brynn, but thankfully unlike Fionn, Kyohime spooks aren't as bad and she is a wonderful consolation prize. Kyohime Lancer is a single target buster Lancer that is made for one thing, melting bosses. Her main skill, Bathwater Turnover, gives her a strong 30% buster buff for 3 turns. The short cooldown also means you can have this active for most of the battle. This skill gives Kyohime really good sustained damage, and because it's a buster buff and not an attack buff, it synergizes perfectly with charisma skills from teammates due to the multiplicative buff stacking. She also has Madness Enhancement Rank EX as a passive, which effectively gives her a 42% buster buff when paired with Bathwater Turnover. It's an extremely powerful passive. Pursuer of Love further emphasizes her role as a boss killer with a 30% defense debuff on a single enemy. Between this skill and her Buster buff, Kyohime can deal upwards of 60% more damage to a single target for the majority of the battle. Just keep in mind it also gives the enemy a 20% attack buff as a demerit, so you'll want to time this skill properly and you definitely don't want it active if an enemy is going to Noble Phantasm you unless you're sure you can kill him before he does or you have some countermeasure. Finally, Scorching Summer of Passion is an AoE crit chance reduction. It's very niche and doesn't synergize with her kit at all, but any servants that fuck Chimeras are doing good by me. One thing worth noting is that because all of Kyohime's skills have a short cooldown, they can stay active for most of the fight, allowing her to put a lot of pressure on an enemy. Skill priority is simple, you want to max your buster buff first because that's your main damage source, followed by your defense down, and then Scorching Summer last because crit chance down isn't as important as the other two. Where all three skills come together is Kyohime's Noble Phantasm. 
It's a straightforward single target buster Noble Phantasm, and with your buff active and defense down on an enemy, this Noble Phantasm can inflict a lot of damage. The skill seal and burn are nice, but this Noble Phantasm is first and foremost just a massive amount of burst damage, and because her NP gain is good, you can get this Noble Phantasm off multiple times per battle, giving Kiyohime a strong presence in boss fights. Unfortunately, where it falls apart for Kiyohime is anything outside of boss killing. She does have some utility with the defense down and crit down, but her star gen isn't anything to write home about. She also lacks any defensive skills, and considering that one of her own skills buffs the enemy's attack, she can often be her own undoing. Her gameplay style is also fairly simplistic. Because of that, she lacks versatility, and you'll primarily only want to use her on a full offensive buster team or as your main damage dealer in a balanced team with good defensive support. The standard buffers make for a good team with Kyohime, so Waver, Hans, Nero Bride, Shakespeare, Shuten, Helena, Nightingale, Liz, Leonidas, and Caesar. Defensively, Mosh, Tamamo, Media Lily, George, Dayan, and Iris Feel are your best choices. Defensive buffs like the one Mosh gives are especially good since it effectively nullifies the demerit on Kiyohime's defense down skill, and because Kiyohime is really good at softening enemy targets, you should pair her with other offensive buster servants to capitalize on that damage. She'll especially do well with offensive servants that have a charisma because it stacks well with her buster buff, so her ideal partners include Gilgamesh, Saber and Lancer Arturia, Saber and Lancer Arturia Alter, Gawain, Bedivere, Drake, Ozymandias, and Iskander. Kyohime Lancer's Bondcraft Essence is Sandy Beach Love Letter Horror. It increases Buster Card effectiveness of all allies by 20%, but lowers their defense by 10%. I do not recommend using this Craft Essence unless you have Mosh, because you'll likely be stacking a lot of extra damage on the enemy. Much safer and better alternatives do exist. Golden Sumo, Limited Zero, True Samadhi Flame, and Heaven's Feel are all very good, pure offensive options. If you have her paired alongside another offensive servant like Gil or Ozymandias, then bring Maiden Leading Caldia and go west because they're great at buffing your own damage while giving you some more team utility. Overall, Kyohime Lancer is a solid servant. She's a strong offensive threat with single target damage, nice utility in her defense down so she can really soften targets, good noble phantasm gain for her lancer, and because her skills are all on short cooldowns, she can be very consistent, or I guess in her case persistent, when it comes to sticking on an enemy boss. Her issues come in the form of low survivability due to the lack of any defensive skills, a really bad demerit on her defense down skill that can really hurt your team if used improperly, and she's very one dimensional which limits her ability to be used in a wider array of team comms. But that one dimension that she does have, she does exceedingly well, so she gets a B plus from me. Her drawbacks do just enough to prevent her from being considered top tier, but she is above average in almost all respects and a really good anti-boss lancer that can round out any offensive team. And those are my thoughts on Kyohime Lancer. If you need a lancer like me, then this is a great time to roll since both her and Tamamo are really strong catches. But let me know what you think and who you'll be rolling for in the comments below, and please do check out the Tamamo Lancer Spotlight and the In-Depth Summer Event Guide, link both on screen right now and in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video, and join the party over at our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I will see you all in the next Spotlight. Silveroni out. Later.